a peculiar people, a peculiar people, you, you know the people of the world, if they look at you and they smile at you and they say, wonderful, you're just like us. And you know, some people will take pride in that. They say, you know, I'm a social person and I try to be like the people. I don't want to be different for them to see me as, you know, totally different from them. You are not a real Christian. If you belong to God, you'll be different. He cleanses us. He saves us. He changes our lives. He changes us from the inside. And our lives become totally different. We must be so different that they will know that the difference between us, the people of God, and the world is the difference between white and black and you cannot mistake that i'm excited to welcome you to tune for me youtube channel we ask that you please subscribe to our channel for inspirational songs powerful messages and content that will bless you please do subscribe and you will never remain the same again. A blessing. <clears throat> First Peter chapter 2, reading from verse 9. But here a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation. We must be different from the larger nation, the human nation if they are corrupt we must be holy if they cheat and lie we must be straightforward and honest if they are defiled we must be so different that they will know that the difference between us the people of god and the world is the difference between white and black and you cannot mistake that anyone who says you know i belong to god i'm a child of god i'm a servant of god and is eating sin like they in the world are eating sin drinking sin like they in the world are drinking sin corrupt financially corrupt in the family filially Corrupt in the language of their mouth. And they say they belong to God. No, no, no. If you belong to God, you'll be different. He cleanses us. He saves us. He changes our lives. He changes us from the inside. And our lives become totally different. Because he has chosen us a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. and holy nation. A pagan peculiar people a peculiar people you, you know the people of the world if they look at you and they smile at you and they say wonderful you're just like us and you know some people will take pride in that they say you know i'm a social person and i try to be like the people i don't want to be different for them to see me as you know totally different from them they are not a real Christian. A real Christian, the people of the world will say, is peculiar. His language is peculiar. He does not gossip with us. He is peculiar. He does not pilfer. He does not steal with us. He is peculiar. He does not use his body. She does not use her body to get promotion. If they will not promote her, she'll stay there until the promotion will come from the Lord. And he is not a psychophant that will be saying, yes, 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 madam, yes, madam. And in the heart, he doesn't. This man is peculiar. Yeah. He fears none, he fears nothing, and he lives his life to the glory of God. It's when you are peculiar, and the people can tell, and the peculiarity is visible. That's when you become a unique child of God, a unique son, a unique daughter, a unique servant. It says, 
but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people that ye shall show forth. Show it forth. You got your place at work in the morning. Show it forth. You come to your family. Let the beauty of holiness be reflected in your life. Show it forth. Anywhere you find yourself in your family, nuclear family, extended family, show it off that they should show for the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light and everybody said amen, amen.